seeing how it was coming out as unique. Uh, every time he rewrote it, it was showing the exact same article, and uh, so we're going to use this as an example as well. All right, let's open up the program. If you've logged in before, the program will automatically save your uh, license and information. Just click Log In. On Article Rewriter Wizard, the first tab is the uh, single tab. And this is going to be simply to, to rewrite one article per time. Um, and we'll go into that in just one minute. The second tab is your batch tab. And that's to rewrite uh, many articles at the same time that are within the same folder. Um, so you could rewrite any number of articles uh, in a particular folder. For example, if you uh, have uh, different clients that you're working with or if you have uh, many different websites and you've got your articles broken down by keyword for that website, then you would just choose each folder and you would rewrite them and then save them here as a unique uh, folder. You'd rewrite uh, each article and save it as a different name um, here under open folder. And I'll show you how that works in just one minute. And your settings tab is the backbone of the program on how it works. On the left here is a, a pretty large list of replaceable words. These are stop words. And stop words are common words that are used in many articles and different uh, and different types of content. And oftentimes, duplicate content checkers and search engines, they're going to look at the stop words and see if if there's uh, similar words within the article and if if um, if there are then there's there's a high chance of probability that the article has been spun or the article is being used in multiple places so then you're looking at the duplicate content um, this this word list is is edit you can edit it um, if you don't want some of these words changed uh, by by being rewritten you can simply just delete those those words um, so we deleted those. Let's go down here. We can delete all of these and so forth. Now you can also add words to this and you can open a new list and save it and you can even save this list as a different name. If you want to reload the default list just simply click here and it reloads what came with the program back to your list. Now you can also use this with almost any international language worldwide. So you simply load a default or load a particularly uh, large list of stop words that would be for your language and then just simply rewrite an article in your language and it's going to find each stop word from that language and then rewrite them using these different rewrite methods. Um, and you can also output the article in spinnable text uh, so that would uh, be if you're using the content with a program like SE Nuke X, for example. Um, it'll spin the article each time it submits it. That way each article looks unique every time you submit it. Um, the different rewrite methods that these stop words are going to be rewritten by. The first option is Unicode. Uh, Unicode is an um, international uh, replacement character language and it's used all over the internet. Um, most every website out there uh, recognizes Unicode, uh, classified sites, pretty much anywhere where there's content, Unicode is recognized. Uh, the second option is basically HTML encoded Unicode, uh, which is the same as Unicode, it's just HTML encoded. And third is HTML encoded ASCII characters, which is American Standard characters. Um, and this is often used as well. And it's, it's, it's uh, your third option to replace all of these words or to rewrite all these words. These three options, they're going to work different with different websites. Um, so you kind of got to play around with what you're using it for, whether it's classified sites, backlinking for content, uh, feeder sites. Um, and just see what works best for you. And then here's the options to enter your Copyscape information. It's your username and your API key, which is not your password, but your API key for Copyscape. Let's go ahead and rewrite some articles. Um, here we're going to open Article 1. So just click Open, and i got them saved right here on the desktop, so it's a little easier. Um, just click Article 1, and here it is. Uh, we are known in Britain as being a nation of homeowners and in recent years. And let's Copyscape check this. And see what Copyscape says. All right, it's showing up as indexed somewhere, um, and here's the article, and it is on Ezine Articles. It looks like an article about um, borrowing equity against your house. 
Let's close that down and let's uh, let's rewrite the article. Here we go. We are known in Britain as being a nation of homeowners, and in recent years, for many people, their homes have become a valuable asset. It reads the exact same. Let's copy, scape, check this, and see if it's showing as unique at all. It says no matches found. So it is showing as a unique article now. And we can preview the article and see how it looks. Once it hits a browser, once you submit it somewhere, it's going to look the exact same as the original article. Uh, let's clear these off. And let's do uh, Article 3. Whoops, let's see. Let's uh, open Article 3 here. Um, and this one is uh, just content off of a website that has been indexed uh, many times. So let's copy, scape, check this. And see, all right. Here is the copy scape report for this content. Okay, there's one website, Twitter Marketing is Easy. Blogspot. Um, there's TweetAdder.com, Facebook.com, AppSense, IdeaMarketers.com. So this content is indexed all over the internet. Let's close this down. Let's rewrite rewrite this uh, this article. All right, here's the rewritten article and the unique. If you notice, they read the exact same. All right, let's copy, scape, check this. No matches found. Now, this is showing as unique content because stop words that are in the content have been picked up and rewritten using replacement characters. So let's preview the content and it's going to look the exact same as the original content. All right, so that's simply uh, doing the single, uh, rewriting articles using the, just doing it one at a time using the single tab. We just launched a new update um, and now you have um, these question mark buttons that are going to show you um, each, each different uh, option and page help you, help guide you through uh, how to use article rewriter wizard so we just launched that today and they're going to be available once you update your program the batch tab is simply to rewrite a batch or a whole folder of articles so let's create a new folder here um, articles and let's go ahead and just copy these into the folder there we go so there's the folder of the same articles and we'll just go ahead and open the folder I've got it right here on the desktop and then the output folder you're simply going to want to click open folder and then you're going to want to name a new folder and you're going to want to save it in a different location so let's go to desktop Make new folder and let's say uh, ARW, whoops, ARW articles. All right, and there it is, and click OK, and then just simply click rewrite. It's going to open that particular folder so you know where they're at, and then here are the rewritten articles, and that's simply how you use the batch tab. We'll close this down and go over to settings and we pretty much covered everything here um, let's go over and do one more thing um, we didn't check this article so let's go ahead and check this one and we'll go ahead and open it up and we'll copy scape check this one see okay SEO link robot this is the text off of SEO link robots page and it's showing that's indexed on vickit.com uh, SEO link robot.com SEO link robot SEO link robot I am nuke.com and let's see warrior forum.com okay so it's picking up everywhere this content was indexed 
Let's go ahead and rewrite the article. All right, and let's copyscape check this now that it's been rewritten. No matches found. Okay, and preview the content, and that's exactly how it's going to look when the content is uploaded to a browser or to a website or a feeder site or basically looked at through someone else's browser. So that's basically it. That's how to use Article Rewriter Wizard to rewrite content. Um, if anyone has any questions at all, please send me an email and I will get right back to you to answer your questions. And I hope you are enjoying the software so far. And um, please just let me know if you have any questions.